What's going on? It's DeAndre Bembry, and you're listening to the Three Point Conversion. I'm taking Brian John. That's okay. Hello, hello, Devonte. Congratulations on the win. I would like to ask you how big boost you get as a team and personally about that win. And uh, do you think that uh, is uh, maybe the most important win about your mentality because it was a close game? How could you explain that? Uh, I mean, lately we've been watching a lot of, you know, fourth quarter film, uh, just about trying to execute things that we could do better, uh, especially defensively locking in. Um, so I think late, late this game, everybody was mentally there, mentally locked in, and, you know, we wanted to get a win. So uh, that was it, man. We wanted to win, the hunger to win. Let's go to Sam Perley. Hey, Devontae, congrats on the win. The, the shot that you got the offensive rebound on and you hit Terry in the next possession, Terry found you. I know you guys have been working a lot on fourth quarter, late fourth quarter situational stuff. How good does it feel to see a lot of the stuff you've been focusing on really come into play that final 70 seconds of this one? Oh, it's good. Uh, just making the right plays. You know, we were an unselfish team. Uh, I think we had like 35 assists tonight. Coach said something like that. So, uh we share the ball. We like playing together. We like playing fast. And, and you know, that's just a testament to that. You know, finding an open guy and, and just having that confidence in my Thank right you. now. Let's go to Rick Pinnell. Rick? Hey, Tay, when Cody Zeller is playing well, what do you notice most about him? Uh, I mean, I feel like Cody plays plays well every game. To be honest, I mean, numbers and stuff like that really don't matter. Though his impact on the floor, uh, offensively, defensively, like as a team, you know, you you know when he's out there, uh, pick and rolling, making plays, finishing, defensively, his effort, uh, he brings all of that every game to me personally. So, thank you. Let's go to uh, Rod Boone and then Richard Walker. Hey, uh, Devontae, uh, off the bench tonight, LaMelo played about 30 minutes, I think he had 16 points. Um, just what are you seeing from him tonight to kind of help you guys get this win? And just what are you seeing from him growth-wise of just the last couple of games here, I guess? Uh, I mean, he just got to be aggressive. You know, he he, he bring that pace when he come in the game. Uh, keep the defense on their heels with the with the outlets and the pitcher heads and different things like that. And, and coming down and transition even after they score getting to the paint, kicking it out. So uh, he just got to stay in attack mode, you know, and, and good things. And he's also had a couple of highlight dunks, man. What's it like to kind of see, you know, his ups and <laughs> do stuff like that out there on the floor as well? Yeah, he be telling me in practice, he'd be like, man, throw me a lob, throw me a lob. Like, he'd be so anxious to dunk. He just love running and dunking. Uh, I'm glad he got got a couple of dunks lately. So uh, he definitely he definitely feeling his hops right now. Uh, Richard Walker. Uh, uh, Devontae, uh, Richard Walker here on sportshub.com. You guys control the game. They take the lead with about three minutes to go. You come down the first possession, you miss two shots. W what was the mindset at that point? Obviously, you found a way to, to fight through it and get the win. Uh, the mindset was just come out and, and win, man, get stops. Um, you know, like I said, we, we've been watching film on. Uh, late game situations, going over different sets to run late game. And tonight, you know, we just executed down the stretch and eight shots and you got the stops we needed. Let's go to Danny Thompson and wrap up with Steve Reed. Devontae, Danny Thompson with the three-point conversion. In most cases, tonight, it seemed like the energy level for the starters picked up where the bench left off tonight. When the, when the reserves are playing the way they are, how much energy does it give you to keep up the pace they're setting? Uh, I mean, we try to keep up both, you know, we got to come out with that pace. I feel like, like I said, I think I said that this morning, uh, you know, keep the other team on their heels. We don't need to be on our heels. So, uh, obviously the bench come in and, you know, they're running, uh, especially Miles Mello, those guys lead. So, uh, we just got to feed off each other energy. Let's wrap up with Steve Reed. 
Devante, hey, Steve Reed from the AP. Um, I want to ask you about PJ. It seems like, you, you know, of, of all the guys on the team, he's kind of the X factor with you guys. I mean, if he, if he, if he comes out and plays pretty well, I mean, that, that's a big, huge help for you guys. Um, I wonder if you talk about the difference, you know, what he played two nights ago and as opposed to tonight and what a big difference that was for you guys. Uh, he's definitely the X factor. Uh, coach has been on him um, nonstop, you know, just about – being aggressive, uh, coming out with that hunger, you know, because he can score. He can he, he can make plays. He can pass, get downhill, you know, mismatches in the pose, different things. You know, he got he, he, he got it all. He got a nice package for us. You know, the, the more aggressive he is, uh, you got to respect it as a as an opponent, you know, sending traffic to some small guys going to open things up for us getting downhill, making plays, getting to the line, just different things. You know, when he come with that aggression, uh, and, and we look real good. Thank you, Devontae. You guys will hang out. We'll have Cody Zeller coming up next.